hello and welcome back guys with another video thank you for all the subs and questions and points out and tips uh today we'll bring in another build uh so let's get right into it today uh let's take a look at the gears uh this is gonna be a bloodshed uh today we're playing bloodshed uh warrior shadow okay uh so what i went for is for weapon range uh sword with lots of crits and lots of damage we put armor penetration. Uh, I use this shoulder so that my lightning bolt proc a little bit faster, um, and the air effect is a lot more. So you can go up to like fifty percent, and you see how fast lightning is procting. Thunder bolt is procting. So there's that, and then uh, we have this more attack speed, of course, uh, lightning, Capri heart. I use circle expansion for the uh, minus uh, resource three hoops and then insight for maximize damage and chance to maximize hit okay there's that now we look at the charms uh, so the charms is this uh, reason why I use Capri is due to my lacrima Uh, I want to use the watcher stick so I get more weapon equip range uh, when it's proc to 10 and then I have the uh, armor for the plus 3 levels and then I have a boreal horizon to proc other energies when I need it alright there's that let's go back to the charms so the ideal charms you want is the Alisa Hamal Boreal for the 20, 230, 230, 140, um, you can do, you can do Boreal 230, uh, Lisa 230, Hamao 140, okay? You don't want to do uh, 230 Hamao due to the fact that uh, it's at night, 1190, it converts and it does nothing, so you're basically wasting resource to get to that. So it's best to get Boreal and Elisa, uh, which then convert better. Okay, so Boreal 230, 230, 140. Okay, there's that. This is my charms. Okay, and then now we look into the Zodiac. I went for one uh, physical damage. I'm keeping this physical damage. Not, no, I'm not turning it to element. So there's two, three, four, uh, five. Uh, I can then go. HP for life on hit. I can do that. Okay. And then six. All weapon range. And then right here for stiller. Seven. Six, seven. So I went for this one and this one. I want the 30 weapon range. And then this one. Um, you don't have to go the 30 weapon range. Uh, you can take that out if it's reduce a lot of damage. Because you take a reduced damage for that. So you can go uh, powerful harmony. And then uh, because that's 2% damage amp. And then you can take uh, 
so there's six seven so six seven let's go back to that one so right here you want to take one point here and then you have uh, one left point so one two that's six seven uh, right here sent and then right here stench and then right here for the um, I took the attack speed right here okay you can take that right there right so uh, for this I took rock collision for weapon range uh, and then mus uh, mur murky stone with the raging uh, particles okay uh, again we're keeping this physical okay so there's that and then eight I took uh, physical damage amp and then additional physical uh, damage on there as well okay and then lastly on nine I took storm destruction for armor pen and then specialized one I went Aurora for chance to double maximize on hit frost for more attack speed and convert mana and then 8% um, strike there and desperate hit and then lastly 12% uh, strike damage uh, more attack speed here and then area damage amp here okay if you have like mana convert uh, convert mana like zodiac belt or necklace then you can go uh, to the specialize of the uh, hammer uh, this has more area damage and uh, and and output so you take all, all the area damage 8% uh, that's where hit here and then you can go to flames to get even more weapon range and damage here and more area damage here uh, plus, um, and then now we'll take a look at relics relics I took Sabdar was not ideal um, I went for speaker and speaker I went for uh, the um, pulverize so if any enemy that are affected by bleed or pulverize, pulverize of plaques um, you do 10% damage amps against a bleed enemy okay so I took that uh, I went for Leo and scepter for hit rate or chaos resist um, if I'm low on chaos resist uh, but as of right now and then borrow for the HP okay so you want speakers main uh, and then you want powerful damage right speaker main Leo second scepter third and fourth is borrow okay and then excuse me guys so and then uh, journal mastery I want nine nine ten uh, accessory one here alchemy I took all the potions all the way down to the last potion you need this for resource cost dampen or reduction dampening mean reduction for five percent of your upon for five seconds upon using your mana so you're getting 15 percent all across the board for all your skills um, so you don't use as much mana when you use when mana potion is active all right so that's that and we go into the skill uh skill is bloodshed and the thing about bloodshed it has a uh, melee area effect and uh visco and shadow uh so you can use shadow rune the warrior shadow rune okay and the area effect uh you can get anything with area damage area damage amplification will increase the damage of bloodshed okay um any area effect will increase the size of the second uh effect of the skill and we're going to break down the second effect of the skill in a second okay but the tax or the runes or the charms or the when you're crafting um stats you want the melee damage physical damage um damage uh amp or damage percent uh and then you want area damage and the area damage amp uh amplification okay those are like the stats you want and then uh the uh breakdown of the skill 
so basically it affects alright welcome back so let's break down the skill so basically the skill is a physical element skill it has weapon range it has um, bleed and it has damage against elites okay so you want to keep it physical due to the fact that it, you want to proc bleed okay uh, bleeds helps the skills a lot and it can shred boss really fast okay so uh, with that in mind now we look into the uh, why we take weapon range the reason why we take weapon range is so that it can covers a little bit better for map clear okay uh, so it extends further um, the area effect only affect the uh, second skill second effect of the skill meaning uh, you get the first 30% damage amplification against enemy elite meaning bosses rare monsters blue monsters okay Domain of blood range, so area effect will increase the range of the uh, second, which is the domain of blood. The more you have, the bigger the size. Now, what is domain of blood? Domain of blood basically give yourself and your allies tanky, meaning damage taken, damning. Damage means general, mean element and physical, and projectile and all that. Okay, it it's a general text or a general uh, damage so any damage include physical dot elemental uh, everything so you take less damage okay you take 22.5 percent less damage at level 30 if we increase this to max level okay and we change it to legendary okay so you basically t taking um, you're taking way less damage okay so this is at yeah so max level you get 22 percent damage reduction uh, for you and your allies that stands within the range of the blood uh, the domain of blood okay and you get bleed damage amplification bleed is a dot it is a damage over time it bleeds okay you get damage and uh, bleed increase so that the damage of the bleed get increased okay and then you get also um, attack speed amplification you gain a attack speed multiplier okay uh, and the domain of blood cooldown it's every five seconds okay so it lasts for six seconds you it goes to cooldown on for five seconds so when you have you you constantly proc in it okay and the awaken you want for this skill would be um i would personally take verity for more damage okay and if you want to use this skill as a tanky skill then and not a damage skill then i would take uh origin due to the fact that you you increase the duration and the effect of bloodshed even more okay you gain a 40 percent boost on effect and you gain a 60 percent uh, more duration so uh, that can go up to about uh, 60 percent more so that about seven to eight seconds uh, last longer um, and the effect go, will be 40 percent more so you gain about um, was about 20 20 about 30 percent about 30 percent right um of the uh, skill right of the effect so the blood blood domain of blood effect would be the damage reduction the bleed damage amp the attack speed amp that's the effect of the skill okay area effect does not increase the size of the skill uh damage at all it only affect the blood the domain of blood uh, you need weapon range to affect the skill itself, okay? So you attack wider and bigger. Just keep that in mind. All right. So now we take we have uh, break down this the skill itself. Now we're gonna take a look at the rune links. Rune links here, 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 there, and concentrate area. Okay. And then I took uh, seal domain element, element domain for less elemental damage taken. Okay. 
uh, resource reduction, a thunderbolt to proc lightning, and then extract that energy. Okay, and then tenace on hit, right? Uh, penetration slash buff movement, uh, buff activation upon movement. I link to shout a provocation. Uh, this will give you um, uh, more damage, right? And armor uh, increase for a duration of five seconds. Okay. And this one, seal of destruction. I turn it to source, so I get the 347 damage for five seconds. Uh, Fighter's wrath, more attack speed, more melee damage, amp. Uh, connect to totem, decrease all monster within the totem size and then I took this here for shout a provocation um, and then the totem counter attack counter attack give me inflict, it inflict pain to enemy uh, for on hit so anything enemy hit me they get effect uh, inflict pain effect which then uh, for four seconds um, pain you it increased damage taken for monsters so then you do more a little bit more damage reduce um, reduce reduction cost here uh, so crit all right and then I lose an axe okay that's the awaken you want extract energy here I convert to fire increase the error size um, and I give a little bit knockback uh, so that monsters don't come near me, the physical attack monsters don't come near so much. Um, and there's that. And then I have this uh, attack speed um, runestone. Runestone give 40% attack speed, 72% uh, damage on it when bloodshed is equipped. Uh, and then the uh, regular attack, uh, you know, random one there. <laughs> Should have taken it out. There's no point. Uh, but this is. The best one for me right now so that's that and then uh, now we're gonna take a look at the mapping make sure I have everything on when you have a lot of toggles um, you want to have mana control or you will run out of mana and you won't have any uh, mana to play with so uh, as you can see the uh, weapon range uh, make the skill uh, proc further away and bigger Let me change something real quick so you guys can see better effects right there all right so you can see better here we go um, as you can see there's a little pool of blood or pool of circle that's the domain of blood effect okay uh, meaning that your if you stands within it um, you gain all the effect of domain blood right uh, one to make you tankier you attack faster it increase the dot of the of the bleed uh, to, to bleed faster um, so you can clear map quicker So take a look at that. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave in the comments. Uh, please sub, um, subscribe, share, uh, give the channel some love. I'll update more videos whenever I can. Right now, I'm in the process of getting more materials. Making lots of builds takes a lot of materials, and I've been using up a lot of resources already. Um, so. If you want to see something, please let me know. I'm, I'll work on it to get it so you guys can see uh, my take on, on, on the skill and build. Um, Sometimes using the uh, item that is, that's like designed for the skill, um, you kind of want to use it due to the fact that you do get some effect on the skill. Um, so not just completely a waste okay uh, so keep that in mind
welcome back welcome back all right so uh this is the skill pretty much uh straightforward this skill makes you really really tanky so you don't have to worry about dying so quickly uh, because of um because of the uh bloodshed and on top of that you have fighting spirit rune link which give you less damage taken as well um the rune link is really strong and it stacks on with the bloodshed so just imagine all the damage mitigations you're getting uh, so you, you can farm higher tier maps so you don't have to die as quickly uh, for those people that are playing physical and want to try something new um, I this is probably something up your alley if you can get the uh, lacrima with two hand you can just put watcher stick in there and you can just watch yourself you know go um, right you get the watcher stick effect with their increased weapon range so then you it, you can attack far away you can use you can also use a, a sword and shield uh, you can use one hand sword one one hand, uh, and a shield that can work as well so you can be super super tanky now um, as well too So there's that. Uh, give it the build a try. Let me know what you guys think um, of, of this build. Um, I, I think it's very strong if you're playing hardcore. If you think of playing hardcore, uh, it's very strong if you're trying to push maps in, in, in beginning levels and you want something tanky and you don't have to die so much. Um, and if, if you have the shoulder, it's even more stronger. Uh, the shoulder I'm talking about is the... Uh, very very rare uh, shoulder a unique shoulder is the transcendent cold blood burden uh, this will increase your um, blood explosion while using blood explosion right um, it will uh, blood explosion is a toggle skill so basically when you use blood explosion uh, you increase damage to enemy that are bleeding 15% amp per five damage to bleeding enemies while using blood explosion and the bleed stacks uh, will be three you increase bleed stacks okay that means more damage okay and then bleed damage amplify as well 300 percent so what is blood explosion blood explosion is a toggle skill it is a toggle skill with its melee area effect uh, strike damage duration toggle meaning that is it like you turn it on once and it continuously doing it um, so it increased the area of you the more area effect you have like I said the bigger this will hit okay you gain earth energy as upon using it as well so if you don't want to use a uh, counter attack then you can use this as well okay I suggest you to do this as well if you use blood explosion okay if you don't want counter attack right and you want to use just blood explosion it, it only only blood explosion works when you want to you when you have when you have the i mean it works as it is if you want to get that earth energy but if you you know half the shoulder it's gonna be a lot better it's a lot stronger then it'll boost bloodshed damage even more because bloodshed bleeds enemy this is the normal range of the skill all right now with the weapon range increased you see how it got bigger right it got about a thousand speed so now we, we we can take a look at end dummies and see the size of how far you can reach so that's don't get confused when you uh, do weapon range and area effect area effect does not increase the the range of the skill at all or this the reach what I mean by range is the reach reach of the skill to a monster okay so now we turn on distance right here in the dummy settings save now you can see beneath the dummy there'll be numbers that's the reach 
from where you were standing to where the first monster is. Okay. So, so, so now this is normal right here for the skill. Has no weapon range whatsoever, and that's that's based on what you have on. All right. Now we're gonna try that. See. See. And that's with ten watcher sticks stacks. Right? That's ten. That's ten. You see how so within within about nine hundred nine hundred? Seven hundred, eight hundred, yeah, eight, 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 six, eight, 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 eight. I'll say about eight hundred. Yeah, eight hundred is like you're good. And another thing to keep in mind is warrior shadow won't proc at um at nine hundred. You see no shadow, right? It will not proc. You need to be closer. Uh, eight hundred won't proc either. See that? I don't see any shadows. Here, let me turn off all the effects so you can see. You see no shadow coming out. Okay? That means your the distance is too far. So, 750, you see shadow. It copies the same skill. 900, nothing. 720, proc skill. 800 nothing 827 okay I'm trying to show you guys 995 795 nothing okay so the closer you get warrior shadow will proc okay guys all right guys so Play around with the skill. Let me know what you think. Uh, the more weapon range you have, the bigger the, you know, the size of the skill. I'll do some damage testing for ranking. Again, keep telling you guys that the more weapon range, the bigger the reach that you will able to reach the monster. Um, don't when you guys starting out, don't expect like oh, why I can't do the same thing. Well, you gotta get the same items that I have to even reach that spot. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. Alright, so that's the damage uh, test and show you guys the range of the skill. So remember, Warrior Shadow proc 750, around 750 range. Uh, skill can proc around uh, around 6700, okay? So that's perfect. Uh, just enough for your Warrior Shadow to proc. Just enough, you know, big enough to clear monsters in front of you, or group monsters in front of you, okay? So, have fun with this one, try it out, let me know what you think. Um, try to get a much detailed videos for you guys, alright? Uh, please sub, subscribe, uh, hit the bell for a notification for the next video. Leave your questions in the comments. Check the timestamps uh, in the description or in the uh, pinned comments for all the things that you need you can just jump to 
give me a, something, give me some 